Man, this video is going to be fun. I'm going to share my top five gun combos for Apex Legends Season 5. Let's do it. Welcome back, Warriors, to another Apex Legends video. Today, I'm going to share with you my top five gun combos for Apex Legends Season 5. Uh, the quick disclaimer, this video is just going to be my top five favorite guns that I use and combo with. If you've ever watched my live stream or seen some of my videos with the gameplay, it's kind of the same guns I like to use. Some of them are going to be a little crazy. Some of them are going to be like, why is he using this gun? But we're going to share all these combos in this video. Maybe it'll help you out in your gameplay. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors so you don't miss out on all the tips and tricks to improve your apex lessons gameplay now let's get into the video all right guys first up we have the r99 and the mastiff all right this is probably the most predominant combo that is in the game since the change of removing the peacekeeper and swapping it out for the massive the massive has become one of the most highly used guns in apex legends particularly in ranked and competitive and the r99 has still become like the best submachine gun and most established gun in the game so for starting off this is my favorite one of my favorite combos you know the r99 shreds a lot of people can use it from a distance and then you come in and you have the massive for super super close up range if you need it the massive is just one of these guns uh a lot of people and i and, and i feel the same way the Mastiff is one of those guns where I feel like all the pellets don't hit, but once they do, I mean, you're just literally slaying people out. I mean, and to be fair, I don't use the Mastiff as much as I would like. I'm just not the best with it, man. I'm just really not. I'm more of like the mid-range to short-range with the R9 kind of guy, you know what I mean? I just, I feel like I miss so many shots with the Mastiff, but anyway besides that so the r99 can beam from a pretty good distance guys you already know everything you need to know about the r99 i mean this gun has been one of the best guns in the game when it comes to apex legends and then the massive has just became that new peacekeeper role whether people want to admit it or not the massive is one of the most powerful guns in the game and it's going to continue to be until they swap it back out for the pk and you know we all miss the pk i actually started to get pretty decent with the pk but you know now that is gone the massive is in its place it's weird i get it guys it's it's strange but that's the one of the best combos in the game is the r99 with the massive next up guys in no particular order is the g7 scout and a prowler or an r99 uh essentially it's just a long range weapon you know uh you know one of them sniper uh guns with a submachine gun okay in my choice i prefer the scout the scout has been my favorite gun um, overall and particularly when it comes to ranked and then I always try to back it up with some kind of submachine gun whether it's the prowler so that way I mix my ammo types up or the r99 I mean but I prefer the prowler it's a little bit more stable and then you have the ammo offset but when it comes to the scout guys I'm pretty sure we've all died to the scout or a team or a three stack all using the scout I mean the gun is probably the biggest hated gun right now in the meta when it comes to playing ranked or competitive the gun just it just beams and i like to use the times three on it look at that scope you're just beaming in it has some of the highest damage output in the game when it comes to you know the semi-automatic weapons and i know the hemlock has become one of these main guns that people like to use but in my opinion i prefer the scout it just it just shreds it does more damage per bullet I think overall and it only takes a full you know a few to drop somebody especially if you hit them headshots and then if you need to get up close you beam people right you beam people then you get up close with the prowler and this is a cool thing about this gun is that even hitting it with you know the burst as opposed to the going automatic you know the gun can just shred anybody then you drop it to automatic boom you are just beaming with this gun so having something to fight up close and then you have the g7 scout to beam people especially on ranked right now which is in world's edge which favors the long range meta this is my second gun combo that is going to help you win some more gunfights get some more rp and all that good stuff so be sure to try this one out all right guys next up is the r99 and the wingman people are still dominating the game with the wingman i talked about this in one of my videos which is the top 10 guns of apex Legends season 5 and the wingman is still amongst the top guns to use in this game why because the damage output from this gun is insane if i could hit my shots okay and the fact that they brought the skull piercer back guys you know the gun just 
completely murders people. You know, 45 to the body, 90 headshots. You know, and then if you throw this skull piercer on, right? Let's grab this skull piercer real quick. If anything, you just love that sound. You just love the sound. 101 to the head. You're talking about two headshots and somebody's dead with purple armor. You know, two headshots and they're dead. Okay, now again, I'm not the best with the wingman. I, I miss a lot of shots with this wingman. Um, I'm just not that good with it, but it is one of the best combos in the game. This along with a submachine gun for up close to that mid-range gunfight, guys. You know, but there's a lot of people, you know, AC, you've seen some of these legend, these pros. They get up close like this, and they still just beam with the wingman like it's nothing. They just hit all their shots, and it's just like the massive, guys. It's one of those guns where the the risk-reward ceiling is so high. If you hit your shots with the wingman or the massive, you know, you're going to win that gunfight. Even if somebody has the R99, you know, they're just not going to be able to hit you as long as you're moving. When the wingman just does a few shots, huh? and you just drop them guys uh also real quick let's put a hashtag next to this one you could probably use something else you know if you didn't want to use the wingman if you're not that good with it but the wingman can't be out of this list guys because it just does so much damage uh and i feel bad for the wingman because they've nerfed it so much over the seasons to try to balance the gun out but the fact is when you got a pistol that's literally just a deagle and it's dropping mad points of damage you know you're gonna have to nerf it some way but that's going to be our next combo guys is the wingman to the r99 we've already talked about the r99 you already know this gun shreds and it's literally the meta you know r99x pretty much but this is the next combo guys try it get your skill up with the wingman and just dominate with this gun combo next up guys we're sticking with the wingman but we're just swapping out the sub okay instead it's going to be the mastiff as opposed to the r99 you really want to test your skill in apex legends and you want to test how much how well you can hit shots try this combo out wingman to the massive is probably one of the hardest gun combos to use in apex legends it requires so much skill on every single shot that you use to be able to dominate and eliminate these enemies okay if you miss shots with these guns you're gonna feel it and you're gonna go down okay you can't just be hitting like this and just be missing hitting for 13s you know and not hitting for 91s you got to be able to hit your shots i was missing on purpose okay you need to be able to hit your shots with these guns if you don't you will die this is the hardest gun combo to use in my opinion unless you you know you've been practicing with these guns and you just want to use them but this gun combo if you get good with it you will be just absolutely shitting on players they're going to be reporting you because they think you're hacking you're going to be cracked out of your mind but this gun combo is really tough for me to use i'm just not that accurate with some of these guns i might get some lucky shots off but otherwise what the heck what the heck I gotta really work on my flicks, guys. But this gun combo, try it, get that skill, take it to another level. Like, oh, I didn't have any ammo. I was gonna try to flick. Uh, 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 uh. But yeah, guys, this is the next hardest gun, the highest skill level gun combo in the game. Try it out. All right, guys, for the last, fifth, and final gun combo. Now, this one is going to be probably the one that I get the most hate on in this series, or if people think I haven't added a gun for whatever reason. There is a lot of notable guns. Like, you can, and, you know, back with the G7 Scout, uh, you know, submachine gun one, you could swap those guns. You could use Hemlock R99. You know, you could use R3 with a times three scope on it with another sub or a shotgun. But to me, these gun combos are the most balanced. They're the most efficient way to use guns in apex legends so my last one on the list is the emergence re-emergence of the charge rifle plus the submachine gun and i'm going to be using the prowler I, I just think the prowler is probably one of the top guns in apex legends right now ever since they changed it to a five round burst i mean it just feels like it's everywhere whenever you get into a fight you're used to hearing the r99 shot you know shots but now i just hear the prowler just you know being people i just hear that sound and i'm like oh that's the prowler that team's got prowlers you know it's just like how you hear a team have a, have a scout you know but but you guys already know about the the prowler and the submachine guns in this game i think it's one of the best to fight with plus with the ammo capacity on a purple mag being 35 rounds i mean you can literally just beat anybody and afford to miss a few shots but let's talk about the charge rifle now real quick in this slot it could be you could use the sentinel if you wanted to 
longbow or triple take any one of these guns is fine but i wanted to have like a true sniper in this list because when it comes to rank there's been a lot of times i've used the triple take or the sentinel and i've tried to boost it with shield cells and deal a lot of damage a lot of the pros have been using the charge rifle for a lot of reasons i mean it tags really strong and this is with nothing else i mean they've i think they've balanced the charge rifle out the most but the fact is is that in this game the way this game works when it comes to shooting this is a this is the only gun in the game where you can shoot across the map and exactly where you're aiming is exactly where you're going to hit meaning like when you're using snipers in this game and you're shooting at long range you kind of have to lead your target in this game but with the charge rifle you literally just beam you just beam you know when people are moving left to right it hits where it where you're aiming you know longbow triple take sentinel you kind of got to lead just a little bit you know just lead them just enough to where they step into the bullet and deal a lot of damage but the charge rifle just beams you hit every shot you deal 90 but another reason you see a lot of you know pros starting to use this gun is because it ticks down those damages it's easy probably the best gun in the game to level up evo shields with okay probably the best gun to level up evo shields with right best gun to level up evo shields because the fact is you hit exactly where you're shooting but i think this gun on top of that you're just getting a lot of information you're kind of pecking players you know about their shields and damage and you just hit there's so many times where this gun is just super annoying to fight against but i wanted to put a true sniper combo in this list so you you can use any one of these it doesn't have to be a charge rifle it can be any one of these four plus a sub to me this is what i would use the prowler with the uh you know with a a sniper or you could use the r99 i mean the r99 works just fine i actually really love the, the digi on this gun but yeah use the sniper rifle guys retry the charge rifle it's kind of making a slow you know uh re-emerging presence in the gun meta for apex legends but i wanted to put a sniper rifle in this list so make sure to try this out get the charge rifle back out beam some people from across the map and make them real aggro and angry and make them quit apex so <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you really did enjoy this video. I know it was just in the firing range. We didn't have any gameplay that I wanted to showcase, but I kind of want to just break down my five combos that I like to use in Apex Legends, particularly in ranked. Um, I think my favorite combo overall in the game is uh, G7 Scout plus Prowler or R99. That's probably my favorite combo to use in the game, especially in ranked. Those long range gunfights, you need something. If your team is three stacking, G Scouts, Charge Rifles, it's really hard for you to, to lose those fights. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite gun combo is in Apex Legends and how you like to use it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, man. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like. Hit that thumbs up, okay? That really does help me out in this uh, you know, YouTube grind. I really do appreciate all the subs. We're almost to 700, guys. Again, I cannot thank you enough for all the support that you guys have been giving me. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and join the Warriors, guys, so you don't miss out on all the tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And as for me, Warlug, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.